Hello Pro Traders, welcome to my channel. It's Gwen here of GW Pro and in today I want to be giving you a full market breakdown. Alright, so today is Tuesday, the 26th of October and I'm also here to give you a full market breakdown of the current situation we have in the major currencies. So today I'm going to be looking at the major currencies. I'm going to be sharing with you the USDCHF, the USDJPY, the EURUSD and also the NZD, NZD, USD card. GBP USD, AUD USD, and also gold, not leaving behind the USD Mexican peso and also the USD ZA. All right, so if you're new to this channel, I recommend that you subscribe and also turn on the notification bell on this channel so you get information whenever I post content such as this one. If you watch this video till the end, you'll be able to understand what entry points I'm going to be looking for opportunities and also what targets I'm going to be looking for exit. All right, so stay till the end, watch till the end. Capture all the people with GW Pro and then you will be happy you did. Alright, so let's go over to first. I'm going to share with you the DSY because that's the King Dollar. And if you're following last week Friday, all right, so we also had that power speech coming on Friday. And I don't know whatever he said on that, but whatever he said um, had an effect on the market. All right, so whatever he said had an effect in the market. One, I'm going to be telling you that he also said that he has seen or they have been substantial for that progress as to then we could be looking at tapering. All right, so they, they, were, they were talking about substantial further progress as well in the last two um, meetings or also in the last two speech and he has also met, mentioned that he has seen substantial further progress as well. So I'm going to be looking at this one also reflecting the market as we can also see that from last week. We also had it that during that period on Friday that price was trading inside of this channel here. Then we're looking at this as a falling triangle here so then we could have expected this to drop but however price have broken to the upside then we could be looking for a new scenario in the market all right one of the things i want to see is i want to see structures all right as you guys know i trade the structures and also i base on the alien wave all right as well so here with this one we had a very strong push to the upside all right then a corrective wave from sort and then we have price moving in that direction all right so that notwithstanding all right so however what I'm going to be sharing with you guys is going to be a setup that's going to make you money in the market. If you stay till the end on this recording and then watch to the end, watch all the entry points which I have indicated in this video, then you'll be able to make all the pips which the market presents to you this week. All right. So first, I want to just go back and then share with you a multi-time from analysis as well. Sharing with you this one. All right. So before, if you're not following on my channel, you understand that this is what is also happening an a b c d and then an e all right so that was our initial proposed plan of what we want to do and then we had also price move up to here so we can have this whole territory as our e leg all right so i'm looking at a drop coming in here as we've seen so definitely we're going to make this our a leg because of the breakout here so we're looking at a contraction all right or a retracement back into say the 61.8 feet retracement level all right, of this swing, then a correction, then a continuation to the downside. All right, so we're going to be looking at that. But if, however, price moves up, breaks this structure there and continue moving in an upside direction, then we are going to reevaluate the situation. And I'm going to come back on this channel to give you insight as to what is also happening as new price actions develop. All right. So here with this one, I expect to see a retracement coming in in this one. All right, so let me just go zoom in there so you can go all see it. I expect to see a retracement coming in from that point on after breaking out of this structure here. So I expect to see price then continue making a little bit of uprises all right, to the upside. And if the DXY is making a bit of uprises, you can expect that whatever is trading against the DXY or the USD is also going to um, witness this effect as well. All right. So DXY is um, the dollar index. All right. And it won't move the dollar. All right. So you're going to be looking at this one because definitely dollar is definitely making what the DXY is doing. All right. So with that said, let me just go ahead to the chart and then I show you setup we have. All right. And how you can make some cool profit today. All right. Starting with the USDCHF, I'm going to give you a full breakdown of this one. All right. I'm going to give you a full breakdown of this one. All right. Sorry about that. I had a call coming in. All right. And with this one here, it's what's cool. All right. So I'm going to give you a full breakdown. All right. So what we have here, we have a wave A. 
but let me just go ahead and change the color all right it's you know not really nice all right so we have the width either so we had a very strong impulse there as well so we can see that this was a very strong impulse from this low all right this low that started far back here all right so this was far back um january all right january we had this low around 0 0.87 and we had price then move in a very strong pace all right we had price move in a very strong pace creating an impulse leg all right so we have what could have also been another strong move to of downside so we can have an a b and maybe a c all right so if that turns out that way then we could be looking for a contraction and a bullish continuation all right get the understanding guys all right so but if also market plays out this way a b and then a c then we could be looking at the drop all right but I, when i'm looking at this chart and i'm asking myself a lot of questions i'm asking myself going what is actually happening right here all right what is happening right here is what i'm going to be breaking down to you in this presentation so just stay till the end you're going to get the full details of what's going on right here all right so if you're trading the Elliott wave um this is definitely an impulse all right this is definitely an impulse and there's no two ways about that but looking at this one this is definitely an impulse as well all right and the whole of this is definitely a correction all right so what i'm going to be doing with you guys i'm going to be showing you the full breakdown of this one all right so this is also a b or an internal a leg all right this is also a b or internal a leg so if you're working on a b c all right of an internal b all right let me just go show you guys of an internal b all right so we could then be working a c to drop into this point all right also respecting certain fixed structures okay so we're going to be looking at this whole territory here we're going to be looking at this whole territory here and then we're going to be drawing conclusions all right we're going to be looking at that whole territory there and we're going to be drawing conclusions as to what is happening all right so here is where i expect to see price if the market is going to drop into a b leg of the internal structure there all right let me just go get that off All right, just go get that off. All right, so if it's gonna drop into this portion here, all right, I expect it to be a five wave move. All right, I expect it to complete in a five wave move. All right, so let me just go ahead and show you what is also happening here. Currently, we have the wave A, the wave B, the wave C, which also had an internal component of the A, B, C, D and e all right so we're working out a wave d to complete and then drop to the wave e all right so this is the situation currently we have here so what i'm going to be looking at i i did up to draw the structure like that all right so what i'm going to be waiting i'm going to wait in inside of this whole zone i'm going to wait in inside of this whole territory for a wave d completion all right and once that happens when we have price time to drop from that point to downside I'm going to hop in on the trail. All right. So, but however, we'll be only looking for bullish opportunities from this time henceforth. Okay. So we're looking for bullish opportunities only for this one. All right. All right. So we're looking for bullish opportunities and the best entry for this one is to wait when price then retraces. So we can be looking at entry around this point. All right. So take note guys. All right. I'm going to give entries on this session. All right. We're going to wait for entries around this point here. All right. So entries around that point there. Is where you want to start looking for opportunities to long to the upside all right whenever we have that we're going to look to long back into this zone here all right so anything around the 0 0.917 0 0.916 all right max this um small range of 10 pips we're going to look into buy inside of this territory here up to this zone all right the 92 pips from that point 90 80 pips is also cool all right, we're looking to buy there. All right, so you can go ahead, put up your pending buy orders there, and target here, up there, and then you can look to take the trade. All right, so next, I want to dive into the USDJPY. All right, the USDJPY, this one also looks interesting. 
All right, so if you're following on my channel, you will understand that I've made series of analysis with respect to the USD JPY as well. However, this one remains bullish. All right, this one remains bullish. All right, and as as such, um, we could expect that price could also further make up rises up to because definitely this the whole of this the whole of this is a correction. All right, so we can expect that a a b c and then a drop okay so it's all a possibility i'm not actually telling you that that could also happen as well all right unlike what i said about the uchf but this is a possibility so i'm going to be looking at this one to check this setup here for that possibility all right that's the possibility i have i'm looking at all right as well so i'm going to be drawing a whole territory here with you guys and i'm going to be showing you this whole territory is where i want to start looking for reactions okay i want to start looking for reactions inside of that territory though so i'm going to be expecting of price to still make a little bit of uprises and to complete all right in this zone all right but however after a very strong impulse such as this one i would expect that um market could also make a little bit of retracement all right as price actions develop as you can see all right on the h4 we can expect to see some bit of retracement all right or a continuation but i don't know what it's going to be so but however we have currently seen a breakout all right we've certainly seen a breakout so if you're bullish on the usd jpy i think um best entry will be at the break of the previous high all right break of the previous high there will be the best time to look for buy opportunities all right let me just restrict this from all right so best entry will be at the break of this high here all right but however take note guys that we can also have that price could retrace up to that environment all right and then react here and then drop all right so we can have it that price could be forming an a b and then a c before a continuation to the upside all right take good note guys so however it's going to turn out what i'm going to be doing for this one i'm going to be waiting for a retest here and once price breaks that i'm going to continue but however if price goes down here breaks the previous structure here i'm going to have to continue what is happening in the market to form a wave c down there all right, so let's take a dive into the euro. All right, so the euro, this one here, we've also seen that major news have come in on the euro. We also have the ECB coming in on Thursday. And also there have been great report and also statistics have shown that there have been inflation increase, all right, up to 3%, 3.4%, which was recorded on September also, which also exceeds the ECB margin of the 2.0. All right, so we're left to see what the... ECB is going to do on Thursday. Also, Christine is going to say, so it's going to give us full directions on where next to start placing the euro. All right. So what I'm going to be doing with this one, I'm not going to be giving you a too lengthy analysis with this one. But however, if there could be interest rate hike or a possibility of an interest rate hike or any clue as to there could be a possible hike in December or because in the last meeting also that was held, ECB actually avoided that question of if they're going to taper all right so they avoid that question if they're going to taper there was no clear direction there was no clear indication if they're going to taper by december so they actually avoided that question and also we've also seen that the inflation rate and um also going up in the euro zone all right that has been because of the the surge in the oil prices all right we've also seen that price um the oil price have also gone up in terms of the energy as well so there have been so much inflation up to 3.4 percent so we are left to see what the ecb are going to do all right but with them but we're going to be taking a very cool move with this one all right so we don't want to be taking a too lengthy entry or a too lengthy exit but however i expect this one to still continue bearish because definitely the whole market is actually afraid all right market is also afraid and there have been no great optimism as to if the ecb is going to come out and then make any hawkish statement all right so definitely for this one we're going to looking for bearish opportunities however we're going to also look for setups and then wait for scenarios. All right. For this one here, I'm not going to be taking too much of a trade with this one here. But rather, if I could have an opportunity that price move, make a move to the upside a little bit inside of here, I think that would be the best time to look for short opportunities back into the zone. 
All right, so I'm going to be working out um, an entry with you guys on Wednesday. All right, stay glued to this channel. I'm going to be working out an entry on Wednesday and also on Thursday before the news, giving you exit on the euro zone. So I'm going to be sharing with you all the euro pace or all the euro correlated pace as well. I'm going to be sharing with you entries and exit on that one. All right, so let's just move into another page with this one also the NZD USD. As you use uh, USD, this one I also have an entry sitting waiting, and also I'm also planning with this one here because what I was looking at here was this. Okay, so I'm looking at this contraction here to be a wave A, and I'm looking, I'm waiting for a wave B. All right, so I'm waiting for a wave B at that point. There, if price could make a push up to that point, say the 61.8 feet retracement level there. I'm going to be looking for an entry anywhere around here for a short opportunity. So you're going to wait and then look for entries to short here. I'm going to wait to short there. All right, I'm going to wait to short there to the downside. All right, that's what I'm going to be doing. I'm going to wait to short to the downside from that point on, but I'm going to have to wait. I'm going to sit and wait for entries to present itself. All right, that one. All right, so also the USD card. Okay, the USD card also looks bullish for this one this morning. Also, I'm going to be working out a scenario with this one here that we could be having a contraction here as price action develop. But however, this contraction definitely is going to be a wave A. So I'm going to wait. If price could then break this contraction, all right, A, B, and a C, if price could then drop into this zone, giving me a valid entry around the 61.8. I'm going to have to take a long trade. All right, I'm going to have to take a long trade because um, looking at scenarios, we're going to be working with um, the USD strength all right, coming in. All right, so if that happens, then I'm going to be buying back into the 38.2 swing. All right, I'm going to buy him back into the zone. All right, I'm not going to be taking a two lengthy exit on this one so i'm going to buy buying back into that zone all right so i'm going to buy him back buy him back to the 38.2 that's going to take me around the 1.248 all right so i'm going to be looking at that to capture 145 movement for that one all right ahead of the bank of canada monetary report all right that's coming in on wednesday all right i'm going to be doing that all right so here also with the us gbp usd the GPUSD also looks this way. All right, so we could be also be having a double top here. All right, and we then started to see a new um, trend of price action develop, right? Drop with the A in terms of A, B, C, or however, we also had an A, B, C, D, and then an E. That was what I was looking at, all right, at the start of the market. So I'm looking at a corrective wave. All right, to develop back into the 38.6 or the 61.8 as well for an entry. So I'm going to wait for an entry around here to take a short trade back into the previous structure here. So we have a previous structure here. However, Everything looks bullish with this one, so we can be expecting a little bit of retracement back into this structure here, right here. So we're going to be looking at a um, 130 pips drop, right, for that one. Then we can then wait for a continuation to upside, all right? So we can wait for that to also happen, then we can buy back into the upside, all right? Understand that what we want to see at the end of the day for the GBP USD, after completing this pattern here of the A, B, C, we want to see price test the swing structure as well. All right, we want to see price test the swing structure as well. All right, so this is where we have the 61.8. We want to see price move into that zone. Then we could wait for an entry for a drop or a continuation to the upside. All right. So we look at next, we look at the also the AUD USD. Looks very nice. All right, very juicy as well. All right, we had initial candle, initial candle here, and also we had this setup here of the morning star. 
All right, that was nice. Impulse, correction, impulse. All right, to complete the pattern, then we can be having a drop. All right, but however, this one here, we we're working out a bit of a corrective wave could come also come in here as well. Let's go look at it. All right, so we had a series of drops coming in there, so we're working out this A, B, C. All right, for an A, A, B, C. All right, and then drop for five wave move. All right, we could be looking at the five wave move to downside. All right, then we could then look for price to then move off from that point. All right, so what I'm going to be doing with this one, this one is complete. All right, it's complete with this one because we have price come in to test the 61.8. All right, so this is near complete or complete. All right. So what I'm going to be doing with this one, I'm going to be drawing this line here. All right, I'm going to be waiting on this line here. I'm going to be waiting for a break. All right, so we're going to wait for a break below this previous structure here. So we had structure here, we had structure here. So we're going to wait for a break below, and then we're going to hop in. All right, so we're going to put a pending sell stop 0 0.7479. All right, and we're going to risk. 46 pips and we're going to target 57 pips around the 0 0.7422 so we are take profit one and however i will also target the 38.2 for a very slight retracement up to that point this whole territory here all right i'm going to be doing that and this territory here is the 0 0.7400 area all right so we're going to be looking at that drop into a 118 pips for that one all right gold baby gold did trick us the last time i spoke about gold and i want to have a shot from this point to the downside all right but however gold did complete of the a so we had an a b c of the flat pattern all right that created the b at that point all right then we had a c we had a d we also have an E, all right. So this is the potential E. So we could be looking for entries anyway, all right, from that point to short to the downside. All right, so I'm expecting gold to complete for that one. And then we could look for short opportunities. All right, electricians here, you can also give share your views on this one. And also what is happening here with the gold. All right. Let's go look at it. Show you ideas as well. So here from the swing high to the swing low, we did see that price didn't tag the 61.8. So we can it did tag the 50 percent. All right. So we could working out some sort of structure, say an A, B, C, an A, B, and a C. All right, but however, we didn't form an A, B, C, X, A, B, C. Could also be in play. All right, so let's just go ahead and share our ideas on this one on what is it going to be for this setup here and let's go ahead and share all your ideas i'll be i'm welcome to um ideas all right you can drop in the, the comments and then i'm going to go check it out and then share with you guys how we're going to do this all right so we're going to take a little bit look at also what is also happening here with this one we look at um also the usd mexican peso as well Using Mexican peso looks this way, so I'm going to be expecting a little bit of retracement up to a certain level, all right. But however, what I want to see on the longer term, I want to see the using Mexican peso make a complete count. I want to see that count complete, all right. And however, we did have a little bit of contraction in here, which I always speak about, and we have our E leg here, so we have our X, so we can be having an A. B and then a C to complete the pattern. Then we can look for an upside to then be in play. All right, so we look at that also being possible. However, here we could be looking at a little bit of retracement. All right, so we could be looking at a little, a little bit of retracement. So this could be. Our point all right so that could be a point that we could be looking for a little bit of push to comment from that point on all right 
we had a little bit of accumulation here. All right, we had a move up from that point on and we had a drop as I wanted to see. So we could be having a little bit of retracement, say up to some seven fib levels, but that's not gonna be what I'm gonna wait to trade. All right, I'm not gonna take this retracement from this one here. Rather, I'm gonna wait to take the drop, all right, to still continue because that's my bias. I don't wanna long the US Mexican price, but rather I wanna short, all right. I wanna short whatever um, comes in here. So I'm gonna wait for this retracement to complete, then I'm gonna wait for some sort of structures there, then I'm gonna do that. All right. So with that, we just move on to the UXD ZA. All right, the UXD ZA also, we also have a an entry here, which we wanna start looking for short opportunities. All right, anywhere around that point, because that is the swing of this all right that's the swing that's the retracement level of this swing so we have a b c that formed in this small channel all right so if i'm looking at this as a retracement i'm going to looking for a larger degree trend to downside all right so i'm going to show you why i'm going to look for that all right so what i'm going to look for that is we did have a very strong move to downside which started during the covid and that also rallied all right so we had price then start to develop some sort of price action all right we had the a b c d e and this could create our wave one all right so we have a very strong impulse to downside which is our wave a our wave b all right so what i'm working on currently is i'm working on a wave c to develop say in an ABC format, all right, so it could also be a zigzag or whatever pattern I'm looking at, all right. But I'm looking at a wave C to be a zigzag for this kind of structure here, then we could look for a contention to the upside. But however, if we could have price contract of some sort, say inside of here, and a breakup, <clears throat> then we could reevaluate the situation and then I will be there to share with you guys a setup such as that one on this channel. See you next time. It's Green here from GW Pro. I love you all and I wish you all the best in your trading journey. And may your pips be above average as always. See you too.